in a first scientists have started the controversial process of creating human dna the building blocks of human life from scratch yes the research which has been taboo till now due to the fear of the possibilities of designer babies and deformities to future human generation has now been approved and is in the works hello and welcome to the print my name is somya pille and you're watching pure science scientists have started working on a project by welcome trust the world's largest medical charity which has donated 10 million pounds equivalent to nearly 117 crore rupees this project is being led by scientists from oxford cambridge and the imperial college some of the top international research institutes the dna or the deoxy ribonucleic acid is a molecule found in cells and carries the genetic instructions for the development and function of living organisms it consists of a deoxy ribose sugar a phosphate group and one of the four nitrogenous bases uh, adenine known as a guanine g cytosine c or thymine known as t simply put it is made of repeating units and contains all the genetic information that typically makes us who we are now where did it all begin In 2003 a project called the Human Genome Project was completed. This project was monumental at the time because it identified and mapped all human genes providing a fundamental understanding of human biology and accelerating advancements in medicine and other fields. It basically enabled scientists to read humans like a barcode if you will. The latest project incidentally called the synthetic human genome project hopes to take the 2003 project forward it will allow researchers not only to read a molecule of dna but also to create parts of it and eventually build an entire dna molecule by molecule from scratch The primary stage of this project is to develop ways of building larger blocks of the human DNA to a point where they can synthetically reconstruct a human chromosome. Chromosomes are thread-like structures of DNA and proteins found in the nucleus of cells carrying genetic information. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes in each cell with one set inherited from each parent. These contain the genes that govern factors like development, repair and maintenance. While announcing the project, scientists said that the entire work on the project will be confined to test tubes and dishes and there will be no attempt to create synthetic life. They stress that the project is only looking to advance medical sciences by recreating the DNA and that's where the controversy begins. Since this project grants so much power to researchers there is no guarantee that the technology created will not be misused. This project can be potentially used for creating bioweapons and even creatures with enhanced human-like capabilities and features. It can create independent human parts and even an entire human being. for such an eventuality where humans can be created in labs another ethical conundrum comes up who owns them and how do you limit their activities there will be a lot of leaks that need to be plugged but for now it is an ocean of possibilities and we can only wait and watch how this project pans out this was all from me i am somya pillai for the print